don't live in here was gonna be like this. I wanna move here. Cause they act like they run. That bush and work their way back this way as needed. I'm not, how am I gonna move all the baby? I mean, there's no curb, but like it's already the whole front yard is already pretty full. We're almost done here. No, it's not done. <laughs> Cleaning this up, it's uh, kicking butt and taking names. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's drop it. Holy sh! Run him up! The idiots upstairs that were drunk climbed up into their window on the second floor and they kicked my window. You want me to get it? It's <laughs> only stuck. Are you from China? Well, it's probably like actual China worth like a lot of money. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. I'm rolling. Is the handle unlocked or no? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Gary pointed out that they almost burned their couch and probably killed themselves. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off. Find a place with a view. The band is never gonna stop. Credit card, baby. Lunch is up. Nope, it's expired. <laughs> no Vinci today? Uh, I think he said he might stop by, but... you know it was put together well when it immediately falls apart. Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? Can you answer the question? People think being a landlord in Cleveland is easy. No, not by a long shot. We've got to chase down rent, evict deadbeats, fix what they broke in our properties, and keep the police on speed dial to deal with unruly, violent tenants. I mean, there's no curb, but like, it's already the whole front yard is already pretty full. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Yeah. Handle looks a little fancier than typical. I just can't figure out why the hell it won't even open. I took the pins out of the hinge. Just gotta get a running start. I wish I could, but I'd hate to break the whole door down. Give me all my money back. I'm putting a lien on this building and suing you personally because you own all these properties. Because I spoke to the mayor's office about you, and I spoke to everyone in Brooklyn about you. And what you're doing is corrupt and illegal. All of your properties, I'm putting liens on all of them. 
in everything that you own, every car that you drive. Hello? Let's see if I can pull it over. Yeah. I don't have to pull it over. Here. Pull that over so you can put them in there real quick or something. What? I'm not, how am I going to move shit and hold the baby? Did that right there? Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. Car has been wanting to do that. <laughs> I got the locks too. I just, I like literally don't have anything. A lot of people think Section 8 tenants are the worst. This is true, except for when you're in the ghetto. In the ghetto, Section 8 tenants are actually the best because they are the only motherfuckers who pay their rent. Does that mean it's about that time? We're almost done here? No, you're not done. Putting <laughs> this up, it's uh. Kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's Oh, it's insane, okay. it's nice. So this is up this door you upstairs? Yeah. Uh, you gotta change this lock right here? Yeah, we'll change the well we'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs too. Mm -hmm. Rich, you gotta take that all the way down because it's too heavy. Alright. You know what you can take it all the way to the front. I'm rolling. Is the handle unlocked or no? Mm -hmm. We just have a guy that moved to Atlanta. So they're no parking there. Get them to take it all the way to the driveway and start their pile at the driveway. You know, make it, you know from the building to that bush and work their way back this way as needed. Okay. And uh, yeah, Gary pointed out they almost fucking burned their couch and probably killed themselves. That way it's easier for you guys. Yeah. You are. Yeah. Just, uh, as you can see here, we brought a tenant's location. Yeah, right here. Yeah, just wait. You hang here just so we check it out. Okay. That first door right there on the right. Ready? If I knew if I knew living here was gonna be like this, I wouldn't have moved here. Cause they act like they run this motherfucking building. I'm worried about why my electricity keep going on and off. Give me key also key ain't even stuck down here and gave me a motherfucker keep my shit down here too. How much money have you made in the real estate industry? Myself, I've made millions. And I'm here to tell you, all you people that think it's easy money, you are dead wrong. There ain't no job in the whole United States of America that's tougher than being a landlord. Oh, there's the record player right there. That's the record player. One of his brother's talking about thing now. That plays the little, that plays the little smile. So at five in the morning, this morning, the idiots upstairs that were drunk climbed up into their window on the second floor and they kicked my window and cracked or, some of it's coming out, so broke my window. Now we have an issue. They said they'll fix it, but they were drunk again. Let me remind you. You want me to get it? It's up. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> only stuck on the top. Yeah, never mind. I take it back. Hey, we got it. There's absolutely no reason for this door not to open. Oh, there was stuff oh. in the chair. Holy shit. Hey, she's got right, to keep in every, every corner. Oh. Hey. And, uh, yeah. Gary pointed out that they almost fucking burned their couch and probably killed themselves. I'm wrong. Inflation isn't why you couldn't afford your house and you got yourself evicted. You got evicted because you're lazy, entitled, and afraid to put in a hard day's work. What do you think's under there besides another carpet? Hey, there's carpet padding too. I'm right. Well, when you're sitting in your chair shitting yourself, you gotta be comfortable. <laughs> Yes. That's a heavy one. Might be real wood. Yeah. Real balsa. Yeah, that's real. Careful. Oh. Is that on wheels? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Does that mean that's oh, from like shit. 1980? Yeah. A lot of people think Section 8 tenants are the worst. This is true, except for when you're in the ghetto. In the ghetto, Section 8 tenants are actually the best because they are the only motherfuckers who pay their rent. Watch well, probably like actual China worth like a lot of money. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. It's always kind of a weird reminder when you see one of these big dump trucks get filled up, like how much shit they can actually hold. Yeah. And also, though, when you look back in the house after you filled it once and you still see what's in there and you're like... Yeah, that's a little demoralizing. See, the good part is that thinking what we can do, hopefully, if we can ever get them to move, because if I can back up next to the house or the upstairs, we can throw a bunch of shit out the window. Yeah. So... Yep. Hopefully they uh, wake up. Wake up! Helping. <laughs> Dollar bills, y'all. Uh -oh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information education and entertainment.